In this video, we're going to cover the capsule stain, which is activity 3-9. We're going to look at the capsule stain, and the purpose of a capsule stain is to differentiate between capsule producing cells and unencapsulated cells, meaning this allows us to visualize or differentiate between cells that make capsules and those that don't. And so we call these a differential stain. They differentiate between different types of cells. So what is the function of the capsule? And so the first function of a capsule is it acts as an adherence factor. Meaning that it makes the cells sticky and allows them to adhere to surfaces. So it might be that it allows um, the bacteria to adhere to surfaces outside the body. It might allow the bacteria to adhere to surfaces inside the body. But basically, it helps the bacteria stick. The other function is that it protects the bacteria from dehydration, so meaning protects them from drying out, nutrient loss, and phagocytosis, meaning that these are anti-phagocytic. And what that means is that your immune system primarily uses these sites called phagocytes. And these cells are able to do phagocytosis, which means that they can um, send out projections and engulf bacteria, take them in, and destroy them. Bacteria that produce a capsule, because they're sticky and because they adhere to surfaces, it makes it much more difficult for the phagocytes, those white blood cells, to do phagocytosis. They can't grab onto the bacteria, bring them in, and destroy them. And so what is it that makes that capsule sticky? Well, the composition of the capsule is that it's made of a mucoid, remember like mucousy, sticky, polysaccharide which is a carbohydrate, which is a sugar. It's many sugars linked together. Or, very rarely, the capsule could be polypeptide, meaning it's made of protein. And this is, this is the case in Bacillus anthracis, which is the one that causes anthrax. They have a unique capsule that's made of a polypeptide. But most capsules, most commonly, would be made of this mucoid polysaccharide. It's very sticky, it's a, it's a very slimy kind of sugar. So notice, this is our capsule stain here, and notice that the background is stained. And you also notice this part in the middle that's stained. That's the cell. So the cell is stained. And you might notice, you can see, in between the background and the cell, is a clear area. And that clear area is going to be the capsule. So all of these clear areas around the cells are going to be the capsules. Now the background is stained. What type of dye do you think is used where the background is stained? And remember that the answer is we're going to use an acidic or negative stain. And specifically in this case, we're going to use Congo Red. For the cell being stained, what type of stain would stain the cell? And the answer is a basic stain. And in this case, we're going to use Safranin. And that's going to stain the cells pink, pinkish red. So in a capsule stain, the background is stained because of the negative stain, the, cap, the Congo red. The cell is stained because of the safranin. And it's those clear areas that are the capsule. And so the capsule is a structure that is external to the cell, meaning it's on the outside. So how do you uh, prepare a capsule stain? 
So you're going to work in pairs and one person is going to be responsible for making a negative stain with club seal and ammonia. The other person is going to make a negative stain with bacillus megatherium. So as a pair, you're going to have both organisms. So again, remember the method to make a negative stain. Put a half drop of Congo Red onto the slide, then take bacteria using aseptic technique and put the bacteria on the slide with a loop. Now, typically, like in our gram stain, remember I told you to use a needle to transfer the bacteria onto the slide because you don't want to pick up too much. However, in this capsule stain, remember that the bacteria is going to be very sticky and it's going to be harder to transfer the bacteria from the loop or the needle onto the slide. So we're going to use a loop to pick up a little bit more to ensure that we can transfer the bacteria onto the slide. So use a loop, an aseptic technique, meaning don't forget to flame sterilize your loop, let it cool before you pick up the bacteria, and then you're gonna touch the bacteria, you're gonna swirl it in your Congo Red, and then just like for the negative stain, you're gonna use a slide and you're gonna push the dye out and pull it across the slide. So again, notice the beginning is exactly like the negative stain. You're doing exactly the same procedure because remember, you want the background to be stained so that you can see the colorless capsule. Don't forget, take the slide um, that you used for the smearing and put it in the disinfectant. You need to air dry this, no heat. So don't use the slide warmers to air dry your slide. Then you're gonna flood the cell with the hydrochloric acid for 30 seconds, meaning put it on there, let it sit for 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, dump off the hydrochloric acid but don't rinse the slide. The function of the hydrochloric acid is that it kills the bacteria and helps coagulate the proteins. So notice that it does something very similar to the heat fix step, but without the heat. After you kill the bacteria and adhere them to the slide, then you're gonna add the safranin, put it on the slide, let it sit for one minute. After the one minute, dump off the safranin and rinse gently with the water, meaning you're gonna squirt above where the bacteria is, let it run down the slide, just to rinse off any excess safranin. And then you're gonna let it air dry. And then you're gonna put it on your microscope and view it on the microscope. And the background should be stained with the Congo Red, the cells should be stained with the safranin, and the capsule is gonna be the colorless part. And so the next slide is just basically visualizing how you would do this. Now we don't use um, this jar like they do here, uh, but for the most part, this procedure is very similar to what we're doing. So this is what our slides would look like. We had two organisms that we would produce with our capsule stain. The first is going to be our club seal and ammonia, and the second is going to be bacillus megatherium. Now notice that both of these are viewed at a thousand X total magnification. And notice the difference in size. KP or Klebsiella pneumoniae is very small relative to our B megatherium. B megatherium, right, mega, large, they're very large bacteria. They're bacillus shaped, so they're rod shaped. And what you can see in both cases, our background is stained red. Remember that the background is stained red because that is the Congo red, and the Congo red, remember, is a negative stain. It is repelled by the cell. The cell itself is stained with safranin, so you can see it in both sides. So here is the cell inside this one. Here are the cells in here. So the cells are stained red because of the safranin. The safranin is a basic dye it carries a positive charge and therefore is attracted to the cell. The clear part in these images, the clear part, remember, is the capsule. And so you can see the capsule here in these cells as well as in B megatherium. And so the capsule is the part that is going to be colorless. It's not going to be stained by either the Congo red or the safranin. And so this is what it would look like for your capsule stain.